point of connectivity of where our prayers, our lives, our sacrifices, our joys, our sufferings are entered into the eternal is at the Mass. Remember the, the phrase, offer it up? How many of you have never heard the phrase, offer it up? Oh good. Well you know what you're offering it up with, right? It's not just on the spot, but you're kind of storing it up and you're bringing it in. And at the offertory, we're not just giving our money, but everything it represents, our blood, sweat, and tears, our lives, everything. And we are offering it to the Father in union with Jesus. And I, I love it when the priest has this cup of wine. And he says, Jesus humbled himself to share in our humanity so that we could share in his divinity. And he's just pouring in one little drop of water. And that's our offering. It's hardly anything. It's not much in there, really. But it's in there. And it counts. And it's offered to the Father. We are in that cup and we are making an eternal offering. And that's why our sufferings, our lives, our joys, everything becomes valuable. God decided that since it was necessary for his son to suffer and die, he didn't want to just leave that privilege. It was a privilege for his son. He's the head of the body. We are the members. We get to participate in that. He wants what's best for us. It was best for his son to go to the cross. It's best for us to join in that suffering, to be in the cup. And that's why scripture says to take joy in your sufferings. For in them we make up what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ for the sake of his body, the church. How can anything be lacking in the sufferings of Christ? Wasn't it complete once and for all for everyone? Yes, but what's lacking is us, the body. We get to participate in that. And it was designed that way from all eternity. He wanted us be co-redeemers in Christ. Why? For the sake of his body, the church, not just for us. We're not going to just squeeze into heaven by the skin of our teeth, but we're going to bring in as many souls as we can. We are the church militant. That's our job. And that's where it happens, at the Mass. The Mass is an eternal rushing river of grace. That's how I like to say it. It's just, it's always going. It's going right now. This grace is always going. And there's no time in heaven. We're stuck in time. But we get to tap into eternity at Mass, when, at the consecration. We lift up our hearts, or are we? Are we paying attention? Or are we thinking about breakfast, or the game after, or how are we gonna get out of the parking lot really fast? You know, some people go to Mass, they say, yeah, you know, I don't really get much out of Mass. But then you say, well, what are you bringing to it? It's, it's sacrifice. It's not entertainment. We're not there for the music or the sermon. We're there for the sacrifice, for the participation in eternity. Our heaven touches time. And our conduit for grace, if we remember to tap it up there at all, could be as small as a straw. You no, know, we didn't pray that much. And we really didn't offer it up. We had to tell that guy off as we were going by. Or we did not want to offer up that comment, and we had to make our own comment in return, you know, and maybe our conduit for grace isn't very big, but maybe, maybe you did pray very much that week. Maybe you did sacrifice that much, did some penance. Maybe you loved very much, and your conduit for grace to receive is great and you tap it into the eternal rushing river and you receive much because you're prepared. Your heart is fertile ground, prepared with prayer and you receive much at Mass. So remember to tap into eternity. It's going on now. At Mass, you get to Participate. And John says he sees a lamb standing as though it's been slain, offering himself to the Father.
continually. It's going on now. And we are so fortunate that we get to participate for the salvation of souls. So don't waste it. Whatever is ailing you, hurting you, causing you any pain, say, praise the Lord, thank you for this opportunity. I get to participate in your sacrifice. It's valuable. Suffering is the coinage of heaven. Suffering by his grace. Consider yourself very blessed when you have a lot to offer up. And as you listen to this next song, this is the mass in a song. If you can, if it's possible. Sometimes I get caught up in the world, distracted. 